I'm gonna spend send a special shout out to uh, CJ. Thank you, CJ, so very much for sending this out. I finally have something worthy of trying out this new wireless barbecue thermometer. You guys know how I love my thermometers. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, so at this point, I put the salmon out on the trigger. I'm gonna get this box. I thought I opened it up. I guess I didn't open it up. Okay, so what's in the box? All right, so what's in the box? We have our sending unit. Let's get the little plastic off. Attention, please insert pearls for full for accurate readings. Blah blah blah. Okay. So first thing we have our, I guess this is a transmitter. All right, we have four probes to three and four. Oh, I can look at these and I can already tell. This is an ambient air temperature probe. See that blunt end there? Hopefully, there you go. You can see it in my beard, the blunt end. And these are uh, gonna be probably dual uh, ambient air as well as uh, meat probes. And they have this black tip on there to, to protect it or protect you, I guess, in shipping. But that's kind of disappointing. Uh, I thought it was four probe. I guess this is to charge this unit. Oh, I hope I don't have to charge it now. Where is it? Hmm. Let's see, pair with your phone. All right, so let's stick in. We're gonna stick in probe into probe four. We're gonna do the ambient air temperature probe. And it's in Celsius. How do we change it from Celsius? That just turned it off. And we got that one. So let's see. Pair with your phone. Bluetooth indicator. Press and hold the power button on the device for three seconds to power it on. Keep the Bluetooth switch uh, phone on. Launch the app and follow the instructions. Well, I don't see any other buttons. Alright, let's try this. Oh, that's cool. It inverted the oh. Alright, <clears throat> so I guess with a, a quick press you can invert the display on the on invert the display. So let's say we do a long press and a long press. Nope. Anyway, all right, let's try to find this app. Ink bird thermometer. All right, so let's install this app. You have successfully activated your device. Now we can go into the settings and it detected that I wanted it to be in Fahrenheit and not in Celsius. So you guys, hold on, let's see. 
you guys can see 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, it's rather warm in my kitchen. Okay, so uh, this looks pretty intuitive. So it shows us one, two, three, and four on the app. Uh, so four is the only one with the probe in it actively or currently. So we have an alarm set. Let's see here. Thermometer, temperature units, Fahrenheit, correct notification, alarm interval, if you're able to form a notifying or disconnect from the device, okay. Alarm return, vibration. It's pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory it looks like. So let's go ahead and get the probes set up. And so from previous experience, I know that these probes with the pointy ends, the really sharp pointy ends are the ones that go in food. And the one with the blunt end is the one that goes for the ambient air temperature. Um, <clears throat> sometimes some probes you can use both or do both with the probes. I don't know, I don't believe this one is actually, or this one is the case. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get all of these probes untangled and then I'm going to go ahead and get them, uh, I'm, well, I don't need to wash off the ambient air temperature one, but I am gonna wash off the tip, just the tip, of the uh, meat probes and then I'll get them uh, out into the smoker. I'm gonna use, me handy dandy provided these are for in case you didn't know these are for you to stick the probe in through here and then these stick in your grill grate i tell you for the first while i did not know what these were for but they stick in between your grill grates and they'll be able to like at the grill grate level tell you what your temperature is later that same evening Thoughts on the the wireless thermometer? I think it's pretty dope. In the app, you are able to actually use a graph and you can check track the temperature over time. I think if the only difference is the only thing that I saw in there that I, I would like to be able to change is the ability to change the time from like a 24-hour clock to a 12-hour clock. I haven't found that ability as of yet. Other than that, it worked flawlessly. I was able to check the temperature at the grate. I was able to check the temperature in, in the particular meat. Salmon, fish is something that's a little delicate and probably hard to get one of those big probes like there is into it. But to be completely honest, it, it showed me a, a true reading of the temperature uh, backed up by the Mark IV Thermapen. And so far, so good. I'll test it out a little bit more here and there and then I'll, I'll talk to you guys about it once I form a really good opinion. I'm sure I'll find something you know that could be modified or changed. Thank you guys so very much as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you can be notified whenever one of these videos goes live. Don't forget we do live streams or i do live streams on wednesdays at 9 p.m eastern be there or be square last but not least don't forget <laughs> my p.o box is always down in the description below if you want to send me something and oh, it wasn't the last thing shirts and stickers are available on the website there's a link to the website down below as well so that was the last thing. All of those things being said, thank you so very much again. I'll see you next time.